to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The principles, the patterns, the methodologies of God. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16. Let the word of Christ, he says, dwell in you richly in all wisdom. I wish I had time to walk this word. We can spend the whole night discussing this scripture. Look up, please. He says, let the word of Christ dwell in you. But he says, let it dwell in you in all wisdom. That means if the word of God dwells in you randomly, it will confuse you and lead you into error. The word of God must dwell in you in a way that it dwells in all wisdom. If all you have is just scriptures, you will misquote scriptures, you will get into trouble because you, the word of God is dwelling in you, but not in all wisdom. So it says, hey, while you study the Bible, while you cram the scriptures, make sure there is a sequential arrangement of truth so that the devil will not come and manipulate what you already have and destroy you with it. When Satan came to Jesus, it was it is written that Jesus already had within him, but because the word of God, he was the embodiment of the word, dwelling in all wisdom. Are we blessed? Three things happen to you when you have an encounter with the word of God. Number one, understanding. The first miracle that happens in your life when you truly have an encounter with the logos of God is understanding. Luke chapter 9. Mm. From the pages of my heart let my worship begin that never ends to the God of all flesh. You're my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. He's my King and his name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh, Yahweh. Luke chapter 19 and verse 42, please. Understanding. The first miracle we receive. Luke chapter 19 and verse 42. 19 and verse 42. Jesus began to weep over Jerusalem. And he said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem. If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this your day, the things that belong to your peace, it says, but now they are hidden from you so that you cannot come into this experience. You are barren of understanding and so you do not have the peace that should come as a result of understanding. This is powerful. Understanding. We all need that miracle in our lives. Luke chapter 24 and verse 45. Luke 24 and verse 45. Read it please if you're a Christian. One, two, read. Then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture. Understanding is beyond education. Understanding is, is beyond the realm of intellectual prowess. It takes the ministry of the spirit to open your understanding to the word of God. Then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture. This is the first miracle that happens to you. The second is faith. When you have an encounter with the logos of God, you receive faith. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Romans 10 and verse 17. So then faith cometh 
So faith is living. It can come to you. It comes when you hear the word of God. As I have an encounter with the word of God, I'm inviting faith to my life. Faith that commands victories. Faith that is responsible for exploits. The Bible says that the just shall live by his faith. And that faith comes only when I encounter the word of God. Romans chapter 4. I wish we had time, but let's see how far we can go. Romans 4 from verse 19. The Bible talks about the patriarch Abraham. It says, and be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Uh -huh. He staggered not at the promise of God. So there was something for him to hold on. The word of God is an anchor. You can hold on to it. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. 21. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. And therefore, it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Stability is the next thing that you receive understanding faith and then stability first corinthians 15 and verse 58 it says therefore my beloved brethren paul is admonishing the church in corinth be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. He says be steadfast. He says be unmovable. That means when you vacillate in this kingdom is proof that your faith is not stable. Your faith is not alive and the word of God is not at work in you. If God gives you a word, you can hold on to that word. And as life beats left, right and center, you say he told me that in the name of Jesus, my church will thrive in this city. He told me that in the name of Jesus, when men say there is a casting down for me, there is a lifting up. It is what God said that keeps you. It is what God said that keeps you. What did he tell you? Hold on to it. Isaiah 33 and verse 6 tells us that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. When you find a very stable Christian, he has been fortified by the wisdom and the knowledge of Scripture. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will cultivate such a hunger for an encounter with the Word of God. Can I be sincere with you? Thank God for all the platforms that are available for believers to at least have an encounter with the Word of God. But you cannot give the Word five minutes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and expect a lifetime of result and stability. No, sir. There is a lot to know about the word of God. There are keys of the kingdom, not a key. The truths of the kingdom that make for the victory of the saints are finite, but there are many. It's a body of spiritual knowledge called marvelous light. They are finite, but they are not just two or three or four. You will need to know the principles that make for speed, restoration. You will need to know the principles that make for increase. You will need to know the principles that make for sustainability. You will need to know the principles that are responsible for your warfare and your dominion. You will need to know the principles that are responsible for your health and your wellness. It takes time to learn those things. I found your word and I did eat it and it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul you must cultivate passion for the word just opening the Bible in the name of Jesus and you open it and just read something um, then he put their eyes on Zedekiah and the king of Babylon and close it you won't grow that way you will never ever grow that way it takes intention you need to give the word time let me respectfully encourage us, servants of the living God, it takes time. There are treasures that are hidden here, but it will take patience to see it. Do you know that, look up please. 
when Mary of Magdala, when Jesus rose again, different people came and they could not see him. But the woman stayed there. She was gazing at the resurrected word. She stayed there until she suddenly saw a man and she said, Rabboni, he said, do not touch me. It was her staying that made her to see him. The remaining disciples came in a hurry and they went back. We've not seen him. But the woman said, I'm not going anywhere. I will stay. There are times you will stay on one verse for days. You want to leave it and God says the next level of your ministry is in that scripture. Just keep looking. Just keep looking. And suddenly, he will isolate from all the, the scriptures and just bring out three words from that scripture. That becomes the next level of your lifting. Please don't run when you have not seen. Run only when you have seen from scripture. An encounter with the word of God. This is 2021. What have you seen? What have you seen for your health? What have you seen for your lifting? What have you seen for your destiny? We're about to pray. Parusali Kataria. An encounter with the son of the living God. Giving me access to righteousness. Access to the life of God. And access to the riches of the kingdom. We call it grace. Then an encounter with the spirit of the living God. Access to direction. Access to spiritual illumination. Becoming for me the confirmer of the word. The revealer of the word. The custodian of the anointing of the spirit. And then an encounter with the logos of God very powerful giving me understanding that brings faith that also brings stability this is how it starts it starts from understanding then faith is built and on the strength of faith I can find stability in my life are we together we leave the last encounter for another time but can we take a few minutes to pray Please rise up on your feet. I'd like you to pray these dimensions in your life. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Father, here at Wafbeck 2021, I cry for an encounter by the Spirit of the living God. An encounter with the Son of the living God. An encounter with the spirit of all grace. An encounter with the logos of God. Someone is praying. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Your exploit this year in ministry, in your family, in your career, the manifestation of the kingdom, the advancement of the kingdom is predicated on these encounters. Lift your voice for a minute or two and call upon the God of heaven. I declare by the spirit of the living God you are praying now you are praying now an encounter with the son of the living God an encounter with the son of the living God I have the life of God in the name of Jesus the life that is superior to the limitations of men I declare by the spirit of God it's not a theoretical reality. I am a possessor of the life of God here and now. I encounter the spirit of all grace in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice. You are praying. The spirit of all grace. The revealer. The revealer of the word of God. The strengthener, my advocate, I expose myself to the fullness of his ministry, even in this season. Now you pray and cry for an encounter with the word of God, the logos of God, bringing me spiritual illumination, access to light, the light that produces victory. The entrance of my word, the Bible declares, give it light and understanding to the simple. The 
word of God producing faith, the faith that moves mountains, the faith that can change the impossible, bringing stability to my Christian experience so that I am fruitful in every good work. Finally, I'd like you to pray. Father, the grace to stay with your word until an encounter is established in my life. The staying power, the grace to stay with the word, the grace to stay with the word, the patience to stay with the word.
just want to stay at your feet. No words to say. Just want to stay at your feet, Jesus.
dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.